try. Ready to roll. Michael, what do you tell the guys on halftime? I didn't say too much. <laughs> you know. Uh, in fact, I think they said it all. Really, they knew what was going on. And that's, you know, it was, uh, that's what I. That's what I need them to do. There's no point in me going down there and giving them a rev up, uh, even though I really wanted to. <laughs> um, I didn't need to because they said it themselves, and um, you know that's a step forward for our leadership team because you know they they told it as it was at half time, didn't try and hide from the, the lack of intensity and urgency that was there, was there, and then they needed to pick it up and own it, and uh, they did that in the second half. Can you pinpoint why that looked like emergency might come about? Yeah, you need to be a neuroscientist, I reckon, for that one. I don't even think they'd know. You just don't. That's the way it goes sometimes, <laughs> mate. The emotions in the game, oh, look, mate, I, it's the puzzle of you know sport, I suppose. That sometimes you're on and sometimes you're not, but you should be on. You know, So we know we should be on and we know I let ourselves down in the first half. We stayed in the fight at least. We stayed close enough. And then the second half from the first whistle, uh, they owned that and they wanted to get better. How important is it for the guys to have to be in that situation and, and come away with the win now? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, the win is good, but I think more about the, the, the change of intensity of the way we played. You know, we're on the front foot all the time. We're looking to be more aggressive, looking to hurt guys in tackles. Like, just that's what footy is, you know, and that's, yeah. I, I, and the win always comes as a consequence of that, and I think that, um, between Michael and a few of the other guys who, who spoke at half time, <clears throat> they gave a clear message to their teammates as to where they needed to go in the, in the second half. Michael, you said during the week consistency is king, but do you think the way that this game panned out is a sign of where this team is at, still trying to find its feet? Mate, I think the whole season so far has been like that. Well, if we go from um, August, if you look at, uh, you know, even if it's in like good half, bad half, or bad half, good half, and then, you know, the second game in New Zealand, even though we had we had a really good start and we should have consolidated that, you know, so we had... And that's the difference between becoming, like, good team, we're a good team, but become, we want to become a great team, we've got to deliver that, not even for the 80, just from one moment to the next and, and stay in that zone, and that's tough. No one's ever going to, you know, it's, it's, you'd be the, it's just something we've got, to, we've got to master and get better at. And what you get from tonight is them seeing that live, you know, the live results of it. It was a pretty tough week for Izzy. Was that pretty typical for him to come out and play that tonight? Oh, mate, he's, uh, he's a natural footballer. I think that he uh, he handled everything pretty well during the week. He didn't look to lose any focus at all. And, in fact, in the first half, he was probably one of the players that was bringing the game to the opposition. So... Uh, yeah, mate, it's, you'd expect that from him. Yeah, I know that sounds terrible that you expect those types of performances, but, yeah, he's, he's quality. Is, <coughs> sorry. Is, is there any sense of relief? Uh, uh, not a sense of relief. A um, sense of, you know, finally getting a reward for some of the hard work that not only a lot of the players have been putting in, but the staff. Maybe it's a relief for the staff. I don't know what it was like. <laughs> Off in feeling, the box, yeah. um, but it's a good feeling um, for everyone. And, and you know, we've we've been putting in a lot of things in place. Um, you know, to, to get a result that builds as the game goes on. Um, yes, we would have liked a better start, but to to be able to be playing our shape in the 60th minute, the 70th minute, and putting points on a team is really rewarding. Of course, we can we can get a better you know moment to moment game like Czech's talking about. Um, but to build pressure, I'm really happy for the boys in the scrum. Um, which has been shaky in the last couple of weeks to get a dominant performance there. Um, you know, really tell of um, a really good showing of our night. Looked pretty good. Looked like he uh, he certainly was. Uh, he didn't look out of place, did he? He was in position many times. Uh, obviously, um, he's nicked Sean's phone or done something to him down in Melbourne because he could have had his first test drive, but Sean, he went back inside to Nick with a brilliant pass, actually. But he was he's, the way he, he comes up in support, the chase, the, the speed he showed on the kick through, uh, his defence, he came in and made a couple of good hits um, just early in the second half, not long after he came on. And I think he, he made a nice en um, entree for his first game, no doubt about it. 
how satisfying is it to, uh, to see the Australian scrum taking it, dominating the, uh, the Argentinians? Yeah, well, mate, I, I know that we can do that. I'd, I want to, I'd like to see it every week, you know, that consistency. And, um, and that will give us, you know, there's this consistent cliche about the platform given in these contact sports. So that's what it's all about. Lay the platform down and then, then you can get the other stuff from there. And scrum's a very important part of it. Mario's been working really hard with them to, on a few things in particular um, over the last couple of weeks. And, uh, and I thought they got a good reward from that today. There were a few breakdown and issues last week. How do you think that went this week? Uh, early on, mm -hmm, first half, because of the intensity lacking a little bit. Like, we got a couple of penalties against us for holding on. And we had the opportunity to clean the guy out, but we went to the side or we tried to grab instead of hit with the shoulder and the arms and, and take the guy out of the play. And, and I think that showed. They showed they were going to try and do that by picking the team they picked. And in the second half, we, we quickly sorted that out. And when you sort that out, a game can flow really nicely. What was your assessment of Foley? His kick got only easy to kick outside of that day. Yeah, kicking was really good. I thought his second half was excellent in tonight's game, you know, and his kicking was very good. He got a nice bounce, just to show the upright went through. But he's he's been looking good in that front of his practice, and he's got a very good mentality and temperament, obviously. So. Uh, he's, he's really coming along as a footballer, I think, Foley. He's still got a lot of improvement to go and he can be a real general for us over these next year or so, for sure. Do you think you have uh, found the, the balance in the back row or it's still working progress there? Yeah, I think still working progress. You know, we've still, still got, we've got comp competition there as well. I thought Dempsey was excellent when he came on. Um, and uh, there's a couple of other... Uh, chaps brewing in the background too that we that we're looking to get a game in the back row. So I think uh, I think that's been a good balance. What we've had there with Hannigan, more set piece style orientated than Embo, Sean and, and Michael. Sean playing as a bit of that hybrid player and Michael on the open side. And that looks good. I think it's more about the competition. The balance of the profiles is right. It's the competition for the spots. Some of those other guys on the uh, mate, I think um, uh, Korchik is coming along very nicely, right? And also, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, I, I would look at having um, even Luke Antui having a bit of a run there at some stage. He's been practicing a bit there. If he makes it on the tour, uh, he's going to play NRC, I think, some, Sunday is the game. And then if he makes it on the tour, we might have a look at that. And of course, Ned's gone, mate. Ned's gone great. I, you know, I want to make sure I say that he's. He's, he's come from not playing, he wasn't even in the starting team for Super Rugby at the start of the year. He's played what, six tests in, I think he's played the three in June plus the three now. So he's played six tests in a row and it's come from nowhere, you know. And I really got a lot of respect for that guy because I think at first he didn't even know, I had no idea what he was doing in the team. I don't think he even realised it in June. He, seriously, <laughs> he's going, wondering why he's here. And he's just, and he stayed in it. And I, make, and I know it's been a big effort for him. And that's why I put him out there again this week, because I want him to get used to going out there again. Just keep going out there. Hoops, how do you feel about the back row there? Chef's obviously talked a fair bit about that. Do you feel still trying to find the right mix there? As well? uh, the intent to improve there has been fantastic. You know, Ned, um, you know, I'll reiterate what Chef's saying, just the want to get better um, each week's been fantastic. And then Shawnee's just been. Um, terrific off the back of not playing much Super Rugby, like the bloke um, down in Dunedin was amazing. You know, got got hurt noticeably last week, and, and you know battles through training this week, and then delivers that performance tonight. You know, like um, I'm enjoying playing with the guys. I'm enjoying um, what our team can put out when we start doing the stuff that we talk about doing, and that's what it comes down to. Ah, uh, no, it was his ribs. So yeah, there was a bit of. Uh, yeah, doctors were arguing with each other when he because once he come off, he has to stay off for ten minutes through the new rules for the head for the HIA. Uh, Coleman took another knock to his shoulder, rib cage. So there's a bit of work to do there. Uh, Simmons got a nasty cork. That's why it just for, it just seized up on him. Um, and uh, I suppose it, that's really it. I think from an injury perspective, just those two. <laughs> was a cold night, the camera crowd. Yeah, mate, it's been unreal down here. Seriously, like. Every person's coming to us on the street, encouraging, you know, doing a 
great job and, you know, they're trying to make us feel good, you know, because they, they can see what's happening with the team. And people have gone out of their way to, to grab us, so I know, for me, and, and be super positive. And the crowd, you know, you could tell from the national anthem how much they enjoyed being here, you know. So, and uh, I always thought it was a great atmosphere myself. Again, you hope it's not another seven years until the ball is back? No, mate, I love, like, it's a great opportunity to play. You know, I've only had the experience of being the away team here, mate. So it was a great feeling being the home team. It was unreal, you know, and I really enjoyed it. Michael, um... <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> No, not really. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, well, it was pretty like it was pretty interesting for me to see that scoreline. So I thought South Africa, you know, would go there and be, you know, they would they would um, perform. But mate, no one knows better than us how sometimes the game can get away from you, right? So uh, against uh, against New Zealand. So I, I haven't seen the game, so I don't know. But you know, all what I do know is that when we get to the high veld. Is going to be on. They're going to be, you know, looking for some retribution on someone, and it's most likely going to be us, and we've got to be ready for that. With, um, Eddie used to always say that there was a sort of limit to how often you could play young players. Do you, do you have a limit? Or... Yeah, I think that's a smart, you know, way of thinking. Definitely, you know, that there's. There's sort of, depending on the load, it's also the, the mental load, you know, especially when you're coming from sort, sort of nowhere, you know. There's a few guys there. If you look at that squad tonight, Hannigan, um, Rodder, uh, Jordan Ulacy, uh, have weren't starting in Super Rugby at the start of the year. There's three of you match 23. So there's a, it's all about trying to get that right balance, you know what I mean, around those things. And I, I definitely consider those things when I go into each selection for the young players. So we make sure we try to get them experience and get them experience that will set them up for success. Jeff, is it true you've stung by the dumpling house? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm not having a lawsuit or anything like that. I don't want them to know it out loud now. No, 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 not at all. Yes, it was beautiful food, right? But I did get scolded by one. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>